everybody, how's it going today? Justin the Red Island Shaver with a video for Tuesday. Um, I was going to do this tomorrow, but um, I have a couple appointments and um, one of those is a laser eye treatment. So I'm going to be gorked. I won't be able to see anything. I won't be able to see well enough to shave. So I'm probably going to take the day off from shaving tomorrow, but I'll do the video today. So um, I was talking to one of my subscribers, and I subscribed to his channel, uh, Billy, over at Blind Man Shaves, and um, he helped me actually pick this shave today, uh, right down to the razor and the soap, and then the aftershave. So the soap we're using today is Tiki Barber, 1920s Barber Shop. That's a great smelling soap. Just a nice, nice powdery barbershop um kind of a little little soft but not really it's a little tacky but it's not like i don't think it's a super hard puck but it's not super soft either so once we get into lathering that we'll uh, we'll know more for sure brush for today is my whipped dog badger in the ever ready handle so i'm gonna do a face lather today i don't usually face lather with this brush but I think we'll give one a go today for the, the sake of this video. So hope everybody's having a great day. I'm having a pretty good day today. My wife is off. So we had a bit of a date day, which is nice. Went out for lunch. Went, out, went for a walk. Just trying to get, uh, get a little bit more exercise in and uh, stuff like that, which is good. Legs are a little sore. I'm not used to... Uh, not used to uh, walking or getting much exercise, but anyway, that, that's lathering up quite nice there. Scoop some of that out. I'd say that's a good load on the brush right there. We'll quickly wet the face and we will lather that. Now there's a bit, a bit of lather in here, just in the bowl. Just scoop that out instead of letting it go waste. I'm just going to put that right on my face. Great scent, nice and powdery. I like it. There. lathering this isn't a brush I usually face lather with actually but I'm kind of interested to see how well it's going to do it's coming together pretty good already though just dip the tips and a little water I'm really digging this scent. It's nice and powdery. I like it. And Billy even picked the um, the aftershave for today. We're gonna go with fine American blend. Just add a little bit more water here. I think some other good choices for this would be. Uh, uh, no Clubman. That has a nice powdery finish to it. Or if you had the matching bomb or splash, obviously. Well, just a little bit more water. Just get this to really come alive. It is coming together nicely though. I am a big fan of this badger brush though. I really do like it. It's very soft. There's next to no scritch. Good amount of backbone. Uh, 
And that looks good right there. I think there's plenty of lather in this, uh, in this brush for two more passes. Yeah, that came together quite nice. Oh, okay, we'll dump that out. Oh, we're going to start with the old foam sliding trick, are we? I mean, after all, it's not a YouTube video until the phone goes flying, right? Am I right? Am I right? Uh, razor for today, Billy also picked. He wanted to hear this in action. Um, so this is my Boker King cutter. You get a look at the etching there. And um, him and I were talking razors and stuff yesterday on Messenger on Facebook, and he wanted to hear this in action because this one likes to sing, so... Hopefully, uh, my phone's in a different location. Hopefully, they'll pick it up for you, Billy. All right, first pass. Away we go with the grain. Nice and slick. Lots of cushion on that soap too. It's great. Just what you want when you're using the straight razor. And go to the left side. That is a smooth blade. So smooth. Love it. All right, rinse off and go for number two. Lots of residual slickness there. I'm trying to wipe that excess lather off my face. Which is good, it's what you want. It's a great first pass though, didn't even feel that blade. So, all in all, the first use on this soap is quite enjoyable. Because I, I do have a motto, any soap that's going to stay in my den, or any cream that's going to stay in my den has to perform with the straight razor. That's all there is to it. I'm predominantly a straight razor user, so if I can't use a straight razor, then I don't want it. Now, don't get me wrong, I like using my DEs as well, but I like using straights better. And I have a couple that are getting done, so I should dry my hands a little more and dripping water in my face, in my eyes. I have a couple more in the way. And uh, a couple getting honed. So all told, I'll have six in the rotation for videos. So it should be a good start.
I'm pretty sure this is a full hollow or an extra hollow, one of the two. Billy, that's why it sounds as loud as it does. Uh, the different grinds give you a little more feedback. Great residual slickness here too though. We go over the parts, don't have any lather. Very impressed. All in all, the shave is going according to plan. Very pleasant scent. Not in your face, I give it about, oh, I give it about five, six. It's nice. It's not strongest in the world, but it's good. It's just a nice balance. It lets you it lets you know it's there. Say, like, hey, I'm here. Smell me. But it's also not overpowering. All in all, I'm very impressed. Lather's holding up quite well. Still get some peaks in there. Still lathering this brush. It's amazing when you, you know, kind of use brushes a different way than you're used to using them. You kind of unlock some of their attributes that you didn't know you had. I like it. I like it a lot. Got some new artwork in the den. I uh, got my youngest son. He likes to draw, he's a fledgling artist, so I got him to draw me up a little something. So you can see right there, underneath the finger, Red Island Shavers. Got the barber pole there. I like it. Now I could try and contort myself here, try and go for the BBS, I'm not going to bother. I'll get BBS on my cheeks. The neck will be close. Good enough for me. Now since this is an against the grain pass on my cheeks, I'm going at a very shallow angle with the razor. Because I don't want any resistance. I want to glide. It seems to me you get a little bit more resistance when you do an against the grain pass. So the shallower the angle with a sharp blade, it'll just it'll slide. And less chance of cutting yourself. Uh, we will rinse off and go for the post. I'm 
which I was reading an article there not that long ago about straight razor shaving and I think it recommended I mean this and this can differ per user but this is kind of the way I do it um, get some uh, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel on here while I'm yakking um, they recommend like you know like your standard 35 degree angle for your first pass uh, uh, with the grain and then if you're going to do across the grain I think I think the angle they were looking at was like 20 degrees and then if you're going to do an against the grain pass then you're going to go with a like a 10 to 15 degree angle so fairly shallow just get that razor gliding but um yeah that's kind of the way i do it it seems to work well for me because it's not too often i ever catch myself with a straight razor but yeah that was a damn nice shave right there just a hint of stubble in the neck and my trouble area I mean, you can't really see it, you can feel it, but, but all in all, that's a damn fine shave. Cheeks are as smooth as the day I was born. That Boker King Cutter, I'm telling you, great razor, I love it. I know a lot of guys like the bigger razors, I, I kind of like, like the bigger, like the, the six, eight, five eights, but that little Boker, just something about it, it's so nimble. So the aftershave, as per Billy, fine American blend. Which I think will go nice with that barber shop. And there's not a whole lot of residual scent coming from the, the 1920s barber shop. Oh yeah, and it feels good. Any of you guys that have fine American blend, you know that it is alcohol based. Zero burn. Not even a tingle. So that was a good shave. Just the way we want. Utter perfection. Easy peasy. I'm sitting here chatting to you guys, hanging out. What more could I oh there was my phone again? What more could a fellow want, right? What more could a fellow want? So that's the shave. Gentlemen and ladies, I was looking at my analytics. It's funny if you I do all this through through iPhone If you actually go into a desktop and go into YouTube You can go into your analytics and I can see where people are viewing from how long people view videos for All that stuff your demographic. I actually have females that watch these videos. So to recap for today ladies and gentlemen, it was the Tiki Bar soaps 1920s barbershop great stuff. I got this actually from John Pohl, a Canadian blade Company he's one of the yeah, it's part of the big care package. He sent to me Awesome awesome guy No, oh, thank you so much John. I do appreciate it. Uh, we have my whip dog badger um, And uh, a never ready handle restored still all kinds of lather left in that we had the uh, the Boker King cutter in the Santos Rosewood Scales. I mean, this thing is just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Uh, Randy Pocket at First Canadian Shave Company restored this for me. Beautiful job on that. It's a great performing razor. Um, no, that's the wrong aftershave. Wrong bottle. I've got too many bottles. If that's even a thing. Uh, fine American Blend Splash. Great stuff. It's pairing very nicely with that soap. And, of course, the Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. So that's it for me today, guys. Uh, once again, thank you for, for joining in and watching the videos. I do appreciate it. Thank you to all my subscribers. And thanks to everybody out there in uh, YouTube land that's watching these. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Any comments, concerns, etc., leave them down below. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So until next time, friends, as always, have a great day and have an even better shave, and we will catch you in the next one.